Hey, it's Rodney at Auto Fair Nissan in Stratton, New Hampshire. This is a 2024 Nissan Pathfinder SL. As we walk around the vehicle, just a few things to note. Of course, in the front, all LEDs. You're going to notice the little sensors on all, well, really the front and back of the vehicle as well as some of the side sensors here. Uh, what those are for is to provide you with the best safety experience available out of any economy class vehicle out there. You got front and rear collision warning and prevention systems, pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring, steering assist, active lane intervention, adaptive cruise control, as well as a whole bunch of really awesome safety features that you're just not going to find on a lot of the competition as a standard option. And you're going to get that from the S to the Platinum on Nissan, not just the Pathfinder from Versa all the way up to Armada. Now we'll start in the back. It is an automatic lift gate, so you can get that from the inside. You can give it the one touch on the actual door, but you can also hit the button right here, give that a hold. That'll open up that rear lift gate for you. And as we enter, no, Pathfinder's had this for a very long time. It's a staple of cargo space for the vehicle. We've got this cabinet underneath our floor of our trunk here. We've got a really large three or four cubic foot space down here um, for extra storage, groceries, whatever you might have. There's plenty of room in here. Give that a close, nice, easy, soft close. We've got some tie down points for any cargo items so they're not rolling around in the back. With the third row seating, you get the 60-40 split, so you get one down with the easy pull strap to get that back up. Now, if you're not using that third row for seating, you've actually got these headrests, as you can see, are quite tall. So what you can do is you come around, give this a tug, drop the headrest down. Now you can see nice and easy. And then one thing I want to point out for car seats, one thing you're not going to see in a lot of third rows is that third row actually has your built-in latch anchoring system. Um, and your second row is going to have them in the front too for those latch down car seats, uh, the rear facing car seats rather. Uh, you've got 18 cup holders in the car, so you've got two in the third row. Um, you're going to have two in the doors on each side. Um, and depending on the model you get, this one's got the bench seat. You'll get two more if you have the two second row captain's chairs because you'll have that center console. Now with the Pathfinder, we've got on our rear seats here, let me just go ahead and give this car a quick unlock. So you do have the auto locks on the Pathfinder. When you open up the doors in the rear here, you're gonna see very thick, well insulated doors for a very quiet ride. Those cup holders I mentioned, we've got built in window shades, a staple of the SL and up trim levels. So you can open and close those nice and easy. And my favorite thing about them is, is they're not stick on, which you see a lot of brands. So they're not gonna break off anytime soon. Now, with this SL, you have the second row bench seat, but you still get that third zone climate control. Now, if they're kids, don't worry. Uh, you can actually lock this third zone out from those front climate controls, which I'll touch on when we get up there. Just give you a little bit more of a view. And then to access that third row, you do have a release button. Just give that one touch. The seat's going to launch itself forward. That seat's totally adjustable. So if you want to move that forward right now, it's like really far back. But if you want to move that forward to get in a little easier, certainly do that. It's a manual pushback, but it is assisted nice and easy to get you back. Popping in now again, a note, the keyless entry. I know I hit the button a second ago because I wasn't thinking, but you do have keyless entry on all four doors. One touch for the driver or any door you're on. It's one touch to get in. Um, and then two touch should be all four. If you've got power seats with power lumbar support in the SL. Now, one other thing you're going to have with any of the Pathfinders with the passenger side power seat, um, you're actually going to be able to raise and lower that passenger seat. I know a lot of the larger vehicles, you can, you can kind of go forward, backwards, kind of tilt the seat a little bit um, with that passenger side. But one thing you can't do, and a lot of them is raise and lower the seat. A lot of my customers have expressed how important that is. Passengers tend to not like to sit on the floor. So it is definitely a nice little add-on that you get at the Pathfinder. Large center console here. All our drive modes. Um, snow, off-road, sand, and rut. Hill descent control. We've got eco sport and trailering mode. Auto stop start. Auto hold. Electronic parking brake. Electronic shifter. We've got three setting heated seats for driver and passenger with the heated steering wheel. Do uh, tri zone climate control. The dual zone digital control up front here. Passenger and driver separate. And as I said before, all you got to do is hit that rear lock button, and that'll keep any of the climate controls in the rear from being able to be accessed with those buttons. Uh, moving up just a little bit, we have our entertainment display. This is the largest entertainment display available in the Pathfinder. Um, when you jump up to SL and Platinum, not only do you get the larger display, but you also get a um, 
glass screen rather than kind of that plastic covering on the screen just makes for a much more responsive much smoother screen overall built-in navigation apple carplay android auto you've got wireless apple carplay and android auto alongside your wireless charger down here but if you want to plug in you do still have USB-C and USB-A charging as well as a 12 volt and you've got another USB-C and USB-A right behind your center console here on the steering wheel of course we've got our channel and volume controls and menu controls but we also have our cruise control and adaptive cruise control settings if you want to have that steering assist turned on or off directly rather than going to settings they've provided you with a button right here you can give that a quick touch to turn that on and off now, one more thing to note here, you do have the information display in between your speedometer here and your tachometer. Um, what you're gonna have here is a navigable menu. Uh, the home screen's gonna provide you the digital speedometer, a compass, clock, um, and you're also gonna get that exterior temperature, gear indicator, mileage, the whole nine. But as you move through, um, there's some driving computing information you can scroll through. We've got an active tire pressure monitoring system is when you're driving the vehicle will constantly tell you what your tire pressure's at. Um, our navigation screen, which will provide you those navigation updates on this screen, uh, entertainment, and then also, we can monitor those safety features from here. As you can see, the lane assist is currently off. Um, that's actually totally customizable. So they provide you a haptic feedback on the steering wheel, audible feedbacks, and visual feedbacks for all of our safety features. Um, you can set those as a preference. You don't just have to turn them off if you don't want them. Um, you can change them to be one of those three uh, alert features. You can do all of them. Um, you can do two of them. It's really a preference thing, and you can set that up all through the settings menu on here. Uh, where you can kind of go down to your vehicle settings, driver assistance settings, and adjust everything from there, as well as if you're looking to refresh the vehicle. I know for me, after a few months or a year, even year or two on a car, I just kind of like to have things nice, fresh, reset, start anew, go down to the bottom, quick factory reset, we'll bring everything back to normal. All right, I, a quick video, six minutes. I tried to rifle through as much as I could, as quick as I could on this vehicle. Uh, there's a lot on Pathfinders that I simply can not get through on these short form videos so if you want to check one out please stop on it today if you can't make it in today that's that's okay uh you can set up an appointment with us 603-580-4500 we're open seven days a week thanks